Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are going to be making some MF motor oil uh, swim baits for a friend of mine. Um, I have the 2.3 inch uh, Epic Prey Bait here, and this is the 3.2 inch uh, Epic Slouch. So what I did is I mixed up some 242, uh, this is Bait Plastics 242 Medium, um, with about 35 drops of uh, MF changeable motor oil per cup. This is a two cup, so um, got it mixed up. I put some 0 .015 black flake in it, just to break it up a little bit. Heated that plastic up to over 370, and it's just cooling down uh, just a touch by now. So what we're gonna do is shoot it into these molds. See if we can get a couple swim baits made for him. So, pull some of this up here. Yeah, that looks good on the injector there. But basically, we'll shoot the slouch first. And then we'll move on over to the uh, prey bait. Hopefully I have enough to do both. I don't know, I've never shot these two molds together, so not at the same time that I'm aware of. Oh yeah, we had plenty, plenty. So we'll shoot this back in there. And then once these cool off, we're gonna shoot the uh, slouch again and we're gonna shoot this uh, rocket grub. This isn't a swim bait, but this is a uh, mold that I need some baits for so we'll get these cooled off and I hope you guys like the uh, new camera angle I got a tripod so we can move around and check out all kinds of stuff um, I'll give you a look at this color too what it looks like in the cup and we'll wait for these to cool off okay you should be able to see what this color looks like I got a bunch of crap on my knife and this is a copper knife so it's a little hard to tell, but you can see it coming off the knife there. Still fairly clear, but dark enough to have the good color changing properties that this MF has. And that is 35 drops per cup. This is a two cup measuring cup, so you can do the math. But uh, yeah, very nice little color. Got that black flake in there. Crazy how it changes in the light. While we're waiting for the swim baits to cool down, I'm going to shoot this rocket grub, so we'll pull some of this up and shoot it in there. Definitely a big fan of the rocket grub. It may be one of my favorite molds. I know I shoot it a lot, but it is a, a really good mold. I'm going to top the rocket grub off because it's a big mold. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for, um, we'll wait for the slaps to cool off. And then we will reshoot the slouch and probably shoot the Nico crawler because it looks like I have enough plastic left. So we're gonna use it while we got it hot. These should be cool enough to demold. So what we'll do, see if we can get them apart. This is my first time shooting the slouch in the MF motor roll. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Why have I not been shooting the slouch? Those are perfect. Wow. That is an absolute incredible view of what motor oil does. Wow, I almost don't want to sell these now. I want to keep these. <laughs> Let's open the prey baits because I've never shot the uh, prey baits in this either. Wow, I just can't get over that. Those are beautiful. Holy smokes. Yeah, I got to make more of those. Heck with an eco mold. I'm shooting more of them. Oh my goodness. Motor oil is just insane. Here is the prey baits. I'm talking just killer color. Wow, that is awesome. We are absolutely shooting more of those. So I mean, heck with the heck with the Nico. We're shooting more of them because that is phenomenal. 
Let's open this rocket grub. Okay, let go. It's such a big mold. Okay, we'll pop these tails back in here where you can see what's going on. It looks good in these, but man, it looks real good in that slouch. Yeah, look at that. You can totally tell how green it is, and then you can tell um, how the light affects it. Get that red sheen going on. But I really cannot get over how good these look. Like, I'm absolutely gonna stock more of these, because wow, those look insane. I'm gonna shoot this slouch again, cause man, what an awesome color. Hopefully I have enough to do it one more time. Probably won't film it, but hopefully I have enough plastic to at least get through it one more time. I think I will, this ain't an overly big mold. I need to pick up a second slouch mold so that I can do uh, two at the same time. So that would be super handy. Be very handy. Yeah, we'll let these cool off. And you saw how the rocket grubs turned out. Just a really nice color there. Really hard to beat. Big fan of motor oil. Definitely a color that you need in your lineup for sure. Okay, one more demolding of the Epic Bait Mold Slouch. And yep, doesn't disappoint. Looks just as good as the last time. I mean, just wow. That is a phenomenal color. Definitely a color that you're gonna wanna pick up. Crazy. Crazy color shift on those. So yeah, that is uh, MF Motor Oil. I will leave a link to uh, MF's website where you can pick that up for yourself. I bought a pint of it. So if you're gonna order from them, uh, from best I can tell you, you have to pay shipping. So uh, order enough to make it worth your time. If you're wanting to pick up a couple other really cool colors, you can get the transparent chartreuse, which is super nice. And they have a purple, uh, it's like a color change purple. So it would be also be worth picking up. Uh, that flake I used today is 0 0.015 bait plastics. So definitely worth checking out. Um, all the molds here are epic bait molds. So if you want to pick up any molds from them, I will leave a link in the description to Epic's website. They make some super awesome molds. So uh, would definitely recommend getting some of those if you don't already. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and a subscribe to stay up to date with all the stuff we do. We do mold unboxings. We shoot different colors, we do boat stuff, we do fishing stuff, um, all kinds of stuff. So definitely worth sticking around if you're into this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.